hiking up out of the NOC. It is a uh, it's a gorgeous day and uh, tough already. I can feel it. <laughs> All right, more later. Cheers. These rock formations coming up out of the NOC. Beautiful. They're amazing. Let me tell you, all those big cracks makes you wonder as you walk by. Is today the day? Let's hope not. It's very breezy today. It feels really good. Alrighty. Trails right there. The river's down there. It's amazing. Beautiful. Alright. Loving it. Cheers. Alright, good morning again. It's a beautiful trek so far coming up out of the NOC. It's a, it's a butt kicker, that's for sure. But, uh, <clears throat> I can tell I haven't had a pack on in a week. It's uh, not bothering me or anything, but it's uh, it's noticeable. Quite a ride. The, uh, uh, it's just a beautiful day. It's incredible. Haven't uh, quite reached any good views yet, but just the truck itself is a beautiful view. It was, uh, as I was kind of planning out my next few days last night I was thinking about this the uh, NOC to Fontana Dam is sort of the, the approach trail for the Smokies so kind of kind of looking at it that way this is a uh, it's a good day I'm happy to be back out here I have uh, definitely missed being in the woods I've missed the quiet I thoroughly enjoyed what I was doing don't get me wrong, but uh, it's good to be back out here. I uh, crossed paths with this lady a few minutes ago. She had, uh, I guess, through hiked in 2009, and uh, she <laughs> she didn't know me by a trail name or anything, but she said, are y'all going the whole way? <laughs> I said, yes, we are. So I guess I carry the persona that I've got uh, 950 of you now. I cannot believe. How many subscribers we've picked up it's incredible okay I'm gonna keep going more later cheers taking a little break right now at the top of uh, one of the climbs well it's a midway point in a climb it was starting to get views again which is nice it's pretty up here this is a nice little camp site. Uh, 139.2 it's a very cool campsite right here let's walk up that very cool rock face right there that's really awesome. A lot of hikers out today. There's day hikers and through hikers alike. <clears throat> supposed to be water around here somewhere. I'm looking for the uh, Blue Blaze. I'm going to assume it's over that hill there. So, all right. Yeah, uh, Blue Blaze, it comes down. And this is the water source right here. Looks like a pretty good water source. It's coming out of the ground right there. Slow moving. I am out of water, so I had to make this trip down here. So here we go. This is a uh, <clears throat> good representation of the way I feel like my life is and what I want it to be. It's always been good growing up, kind of just living and existing. And now I want to be that. Straight up. I look at all the growth I'm offering others. That's it right there. I want this long section to be much longer than that section. Anyway, back to my woody nerdiness. Cheers. I'm going with a uh, steady chainsaw hand. That's a little AT symbol right there. It's pretty cool. Tree's been falling for a little while, I think. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Cheers. Thank you, Wade Sutton, for your sacrifice. Forestry Service has a thankless job. People who are hikers can appreciate it, <clears throat> appreciate what they do. Very cool memorial. I like the people have uh, added to it. Very, very nice. This will be Appalachian Trail humor. Appalachian Trail. Here we go, off that way. Grassy Gap Trail. That's it. Because <laughs> uh, if it goes to the edge, it goes straight down. That's pretty funny. So, 
It's maybe the shortest side trail on the Appalachian Trail. Grassy Gap Trail. Cheers. All right, things are going well so far. About uh, 3.4 from the shelter, uh, 0.6 from the water, and I think a mile or so from the uh, the uh, the view, the jump up. Kind of interested to see what that is, but uh, sun shining high above, some there, up there, midday-ish. It's a uh, it's a beautiful day, nice breeze. It's a little bit buggy today, kind of interesting. First day I've experienced bugs on the trail, but. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, we'll live with it. As I was uh, in the matrix, a day did not go by that I wasn't around or caring for <laughs> those who were sick. And I mean, like skyrocketing fevers, sore throats, coughing, congestion, you name it. I, uh, I encountered it while I was gone. I'm sure I have a little bit of something. I can hear it in my voice, but I feel good. I'm hiking good. So we're just going to kind of go with it for now. This fresh mountain air will uh, hopefully chase it all the way. All right. Love the views as we're getting back up into the uh, elevation. All right. More later. Come off the trail that way. And uh, this is the first on trail water source out of the uh, NOC. Very cool. Very peaceful. Let's see if I can create a uh, water spigot here. That's better. I had to use two hands to do it. Nice clean water flow coming off of there now. Awesome. All right now we're gonna fill it. give you a little idea of what the temperatures have been. See it there. There's ice on the ground back there. So it's been a beautiful day for that much ice to still be here. Yeah, it's been pretty cold. Kind of hard to see, but <clears throat> right up there is a ridge. You can see it with the naked eye, but not through the camera very well. It's pretty cool. I'm standing here at, I think, around 3,500 feet. That's another 2,000. <laughs> That's awesome. Alrighty. Almost to the top. Found the view they were talking about. It's gorgeous. This is Jump Up. It's awesome. Well worth it. Spring is in the air. Alrighty, we are about that far from the top and uh, found a stealth campsite right here. The uh, sun is eventually going to set over there. And hopefully that's where I'm going to see my sunrise in the morning. There's a, uh, there were a lot of folks at the NOC last night. And uh, I know that at least 15 or 16 of them got to start before I did this morning. And I've been passed by no less than seven or eight hikers. Everybody who mentioned going to the, uh, um, the shelter. So... The shelter's only got room for two or three tent sites, and I think the shelter's got room for about 14. So this is a uh, great site right here. I'm going to go ahead and just camp here. And then uh, tomorrow morning, get up, hit the top, and uh, I'll get water and uh, use the privy at the shelter. And then um, <clears throat> the next water pass there is uh, almost three miles. So uh, that's the plan for now. I've got some daylight left, so I'm going to think about this and uh, let you know. Cheers. Is a uh, alternate use for a seat pack. All you gotta do is get a little base going under there and it'll fire right up. 
All right, well, I'm going to wrap up March 16th. Uh, stopped just shy of the uh, summit so I could uh, set up camp. I knew I'd have a good spot here. Got a fire going right there. Tent set up. Get a nice sunset over there. Uh, and should have a nice sunrise here in the morning. Uh, probably get going, headed toward the uh, top as early as I can. But uh, that'll be the uh, the fire that keeps me warm until I go to bed. Let me turn this around. Okay, it was a good day to uh, get back on the trail. The uh, weather was great. Um, it was uh, it's a long way from the NOC uphill up here. So uh, it's uh, definitely something to be ready for. But it's uh, at this point in our hike, I think we've uh, we've developed climbing legs uh, well enough to get up here. I did a uh, uh, pretty good job today, um, hiking, resting, hiking, and uh, kind of getting my way back into it. But uh, when I was going, I was going pretty well. Took advantage of some of the uh, views and to uh, just sit, have a snack, and uh, relax, and really just enjoy being back out here. I, I truly missed it, and uh, this is uh, kind of one of those campsites that I always found and always wished I had camped at. So uh, that's what we're doing tonight. We're camping right here, and uh, we're about uh, we're a little less than two miles from the shelter. So I'll get up, head there in the morning, get uh, water and uh, we'll continue on. I've got uh, three days to do I think about 22 miles or so 22 to 25 to the uh, Fontana Dam. I've got a uh, sleeping bag liner coming there from REI. <clears throat> I could not get in any of the stores that I had access to. Uh, so they're gonna ship it there to the uh, uh, Fontana Village Lodge I think and uh, I'll pick that up on Monday and then Take a look at the weather and see how I'm feeling. I may just uh, head out on Tuesday. If not, I'll zero and head out on Wednesday. Uh, but everything's going well. I'm super excited to be back out here and I appreciate everybody uh, commenting and uh, following along. Okay, we'll see you in the morning. Hey. Cheers. Odin. Odin? 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 Come here, Odin. Odin, come here. Hi. Oh, hi. Uh,